Hello everyone, uh, today is uh, Thursday, August uh, 6, uh, 2020 and uh, we celebrate the Feast of the Transfiguration of the Lord. You know, this uh, mystery is uh, part of the Luminous Mysteries. Okay, so we uh, meditate on the uh, Transfiguration as we pray the Luminous Mysteries the fourth mystery and um, this uh, account of the transfiguration is mentioned by Matthew Mark and Luke and the second letter of Peter so John um, does not mention this uh, account but uh, he has uh, other um, other explanations about the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ more of theological okay so our gospel uh, for today is taken from Matthew chapter 17 verses 1 to 9 I would like to mention uh, important details of this uh, uh, event this account of the transfiguration now there's a mention of the three apostles you know out of the 12 apostles Jesus had chosen three as his inner circle. Uh, most trusted, shall we say, or uh, closest to his heart. Who were the three apostles? Peter, James, and John. The inner circle, right? Now, um, Jesus led them up a high mountain by themselves. So, the name of the mountain is not mentioned but according to bible scholars this mountain is mount tabor okay now um jesus was transfigured in that mountain uh, what happened his face shone like the sun his clothes became white as light and um i can connect this with our baptism sisters and brothers because when we were baptized we wore this um, uh, white garment and because of the grace of god our face shone like the sun so i would like to say that uh, our transfiguration has begun when we were baptized because when we were baptized we became sons and daughters of God and heirs to the kingdom of God. So there was a transfiguration. And the transfiguration must continue after baptism. And of course, the mention of Moses and Elijah, you know. So there are a lot of holy people in the Old Testament, but how come that only Moses and Elijah are mentioned here? There is a meaning to this, sisters and brothers, because Moses is associated with the law, the law of Moses. Then uh, Elijah is one of the major prophets. So Elijah is associated with the teachings of the prophets. And um, our Bible scholars will tell us that Moses and Elijah are uh, connected to the law and the prophets which uh, Jesus will fulfill. So meaning to say, Jesus is the fulfillment of the law and the prophets. And another thing, during the time of Jesus, Moses and Elijah are dead already. For a long long time now how come that during the transfiguration moses and elijah were present are in in conversation with jesus sisters and brothers this is now the manifestation of the truth and mystery of the resurrection resurrection is real dead people will live in the other life the life to come in the outer life life everlasting 
okay? Then also the mention of a voice saying, This is my beloved son, with whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. Now we can identify this voice. This is the voice of the Father proclaiming who Jesus is. Jesus is his son. And uh, we are called to listen to Jesus. A revelation, once again, that Jesus is the Son of the Father, the Son of God. And another thing, um, as they were coming down from the mountain, Jesus charged them, do not tell this vision to anyone until the Son of Man has been raised from the dead. Who is this Son of Man? This is Jesus. So sisters and brothers, the whole uh, event of the transfiguration of the Lord is telling us of the truth and mystery of the resurrection. Resurrection from the dead is real. And we mention this in our faith, in our confession of faith. The communion of saints, the forgiveness of saints, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Okay? So, this is all about the resurrection, sisters and brothers. And I hope and pray that we can also experience this. But, resurrection requires many things. First and foremost is baptism baptism to be incorporated with jesus to become sons and daughters of god to become an ear to the kingdom of god and in our baptism our transfiguration has started and it should continue until we become images of god after all, we are sons and daughters of God. So, sisters and brothers, this is a challenge for our baptism. We should live by the teachings of our Lord Jesus Christ. We should listen to Him. We should live our baptism every day in such a way that little by little, Jesus is changing us every day Jesus will change us into the image of God because we are sons and daughters of God and Jesus is our brother I hope and pray that this will uh, help us in our everyday struggles as we try to live the gospel message the teachings of our Lord Jesus Christ God bless you all